What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with episode 37, I believe, for what to buy on eBay. We've got vintage collections, some vintage Star Wars action figures, as well as some CGC graded Star Wars comic books. A couple of housekeeping notes. First, I want to say thank you to Patrick Fitzgerald. He is my latest Patreon supporter. Thanks so much to my entire Patreon support team. And you guys allow this channel to happen. You guys get my videos 24 hours early access. And I also had some uh, Patreon supporters that recently increased their monthly pledge amount. Uh, Tom Decker, Nathan S., Ray Pulley Pulford, and Joe Rice. Thank you guys so much for recently uh, upping your monthly Patreon contribution. So it's really kind of you guys to uh, help support the channel. Patreon.com slash Action Figure Grader is where you can go to sign up. Uh, the first item I've got, this is a really good deal. Okay, this is like basically case cost once you start factoring in the, the grading cost for a comic, the actual comic cost itself, gr uh, pressing and cleaning it, uh, the sh all the shipping that you got to send back and forth, and uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunters, Bounty Hunters number 14. Uh, what is the importance of this book? Well, two things. First, it's the first appearance of the Bounty Hunter Death Stick, who is a uh, picture right there on the right-hand side fighting... Bylert Valance, and it's also the first cameo appearance of Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan obviously has a really big role so far in Season 3 of The Mandalorian, and uh, her her first comic book cover appearance, the Sprouse cover, has really gone up lately. It was in the top 10 list for uh, books that have been selling. It's almost doubled in price, and uh, this book is the other one related to Bo-Katan that you want to get. And it's $40, bucks, uh, $13 shipping. This seller has seven available. I don't have this book in my in my collection. I probably should get it right now. But $40 bucks make an offer. And, I mean, it costs $25 plus shipping to and from CGC alone. Uh, plus the cost of the book, plus pressing if you got it pressed. So, to me, this is a fantastic buy. And there's seven of them available. Uh, the same seller also has this one. I would argue this is even a better deal. Uh, this one is $36.99. This is the High Republic Adventures, the Monster of Temple Peak, number one in a CGC 9.8. This seller has more than 10 available. And uh, this is the first comic book appearance of the mercenary slash monster hunter Ty Yorick from the High Republic universe. And I know a lot of you don't like the, the High Republic universe, but I can tell you that this is probably the coolest character, other than Elzar Man. this is the coolest character in the entire universe, in my opinion. I would I would kind of call her a cross between Dr. Aphra and Han Solo. She's kind of a mercenary. She's kind of amoral. She's a fallen Jedi, someone who was uh, under Jedi training, but then kind of fell out. Uh, but she, she's a great character, and she's really cool in the novels. It's thirty six ninety nine plus thirteen dollars shipping, and again, this seller has a make an offer situation with more than ten available. So if you want two first appearances for very cheap, that's about as good as it's going to get. I mean, that's that's a pretty low risk proposition. Next up, I've, I've got a couple of mint on card TBC, and they're both Boba Fett's. This is the prototype Fett armor unpunched. This one also includes the mailer box. And this is at auction, four days, nine hours left as of the making of this video. It's at 86 bucks plus $7 shipping. It looks extremely mint, I mean, as fresh as it gets. And the same seller also has the rocket firing mail away Boba Fett uh, VCPO3. That one's at $82 with $7 shipping. And again, four days and nine hours left as of the making of this video. Both of those are very mint. And as always, vet the sellers. You know, when you guys are taking a look at these items, zoom in on the photos. And then in the video description, I will put uh, the item numbers in case you want to look any of these items up after the video. Uh, next up, I've got a couple of loose graded UKG items that I think are actually pretty fair prices, especially if you're in the UK because you don't have to pay the global shipping program shipping costs uh, to get them back here to the U.S. This is a UKG 85% Leia in, uh, indoor poncho, brand new case style. It's listed for $134.99, um, which seems like a lot, but I can tell you that I've seen a few of these loose, complete, ungraded sell for almost this price, believe it or not. I mean, just pretty high prices, like $90, $95 bucks for loose, ungraded Leia Andor, Indoors, and I don't know why it's going up so much, it's just what, what it is, but this one's a UKG 85% with the brand new case style, and if you're in the UK to avoid those those global shipping pr program prices, 
that's a pretty good buy. This one, likewise, is a pretty good buy as well. There's eight watchers on it already. This is a Luke Jedi Knight UKG 85%. This is the Made in Taiwan green lightsaber. 90, 85, 85 are the sub scores, and it's got the brand new K style. So that's a beautiful Luke for 209 US dollars or 170 pounds. Uh, to me, that's a, that's a really good buy. AFA 85s would probably set you back double that price. So I think it's appropriately discounted given that it's a UKG 85%. But I got to tell you, I love the, the UKG cases for loose graded vintage figures. They just, to me, are the best on the market. And that's a gorgeous Taiwan Luke Jedi for. Uh, I think a very reasonable price, especially if you're overseas. Uh, here was a 12-back BC-3PO. This one also is at auction. Four days, seven hours left on this one. AFA-80, it's a punched example, no price sticker. Uh, nice crystal clear blister. The subscores are 80, 85, 80. That's a gem. Uh, I, I can't tell if this is just a reflection right here of what's going on on the figure there. It, I can't tell if that's reflecting through the, the bubble, though. So just be careful on that one. Make sure you really vet... Uh, you know, to me, that looks like discoloration or rust. So uh, maybe hold off on this one, or if you're willing to live with that, just be aware that it might uh, that it might have had some degradation of the figure inside the blister post grading. So yeah, right there, it looks like see that's, that's got to be rust right there. So I don't know, maybe maybe hold off on this one, or if you do bid on it, just be aware that the the sub scores that are in the a on the AFA label are probably no longer valid, just given the damage to the figure there. So to me, it's at 355 right now. Uh, I would be very hesitant to go too much higher. Let's see if there's anything on here. Uh, the only drag is that there's a small crack in the bottom left. You, can, you can't really see it when it's displayed, but it's there. Uh, surface scratches, but it doesn't mention the figure. So I, again, to me, it looks like there's rust on the figure there. And he also does mention that there's a crack in the blister. So... Uh, oh, no, it's a crack in the case. There it is right there. So, I mean, to me, I could live with that if the figure itself doesn't have rust. But this looks like rust to me. So, I, again, I, it's probably getting about as high as I would go on it. I probably wouldn't go too much higher just given those two major defects. But it is a 12-back BC-3PO, and uh, I think it could be a good budget buy if you stick fairly close to that price, maybe $500 max. I, I don't know. It'll probably go more than that, even though it shouldn't because the seller didn't disclose kind of the rust on the figure, but I thought it was worth showing. Uh, this was, I think another good one. This is an, uh, AFA or excuse me, CAS 75, 65 back B death star droid, crystal clear blister, 75, 85, 85 are the sub scores. So, uh, very high grade, uh, you know, for, for the two of the subgrades, but it's a 75 overall, so clearly there's some card damage to it. But it's a crystal clear blister, which is tough to find. Uh, it's not nearly as tough to find a clear blister on the 65 back B Death Star droid as it is on the 77A, which are the two most common for the Death Star droid on the Return of the Jedi card backs. I've got both. I've got a clear blister 65. I've got a ye very slightly yellow blister 77A, but that one's that, that one is really tough to find clear blister. Right now it's at 157.50, four days, 11 hours left. I'd probably go, <clears throat> I'd probably go into the high threes on this one. So it'll probably end up selling higher than that, but it probably shouldn't. I think I paid 335 for mine and ended up grading mine ended up grading 80 or 80 plus. So it's a little higher grade, but this one will probably go above 400. dollars I don't know if I'd pay that, but uh, that's that's a really nice clear blister, Return of the Jedi, and as we all know, uh, those are getting tougher to find. Uh, here is the Mandalorian number two. This is the one in twenty five ratio variant by Salvador La Roca, and uh, I, I really like this cover. I don't like it as much as the one in fifty ratio variant, but that one's very very expensive. That one's over two hundred dollars. This one is sub one hundred dollars usually. Uh, right now, it's only at thirty two dollars with eleven forty five shipping. Five days, ten hours left on it. I bet it sells for less than 100 bucks. I bet it's more like 75 to 85 dollars is what this one goes for. It's still a great cover. It kind of shows Mandalorian climbing the Jawa sand crawler to kind of get back at them after they kind of uh, stole a lot of his stuff, if memory serves, from season one. But this is the first full appearance of Grogu in comics. And again, the one in 50 is like over 200 dollars still. Um, but the one in 25 is a much, is much more affordable. So I bet you can get that one for 85 bucks or less. Uh, next up is Darth Vader number three. This is actually a buy it now situation, which I don't like to do for comics because the comic book market is so low right now. 
But this is the first appearance of Dr. Aphra. It's listed for $274 with $26 shipping. It's probably a little high. I think in an auction, it's more like $250, but it is $26 shipping too, so factor that in. Uh, but it, it does have make an offer situation. There's two watchers on it right now, and this is the standard cover A. Uh, pretty pretty great book, this one in my collection. I would, to me, if it, if it were me and I wanted this one, I would just wait for an auction. But I did want to show it because it's not too far off of market. But two fifty to two seventy five all in is probably the fair price for that one. But great cover, uh, three first appearances, two uh, two one B triple zero and uh, and Doctor Afra are uh, are excuse me BT one triple zero and Chelly uh, Doctor Chelly Afra are are the three first appearances on this cover A and this is very very readily available. I think every week there's like six to eight of these that go up at auction. So I, I bet you can get it cheaper, but I at least wanted to point it out if you're too impatient. Or don't want to deal with an auction. Maybe you make an offer for like two thirty and just see what he says. Uh, next up, we've got another beautiful vintage mint and seal box. Patro uh, this is not mint and seal box. I'm sorry. This is qualified grade AFA eighty patrol dewback. So uh, it's no longer factory sealed, but it's unused contents. And uh, here's the grading label. This is the AFA blue label. Qualified near mint AFA 80 collector series due back. So uh, one of the pieces of tape is no longer still sealed on one side of the box, but all the contents are unused. And so that's a really nice example. Four days, nine hours left in this auction. It's at 325 plus 585 shipping. I haven't bought from this seller, but check out this seller's other items. He's got a ton of, or she has got a ton of items for sale that are really great. Uh, that one's nice. I, I bet it sells for between six and eight hundred dollars. That's my guess on that one. But uh, pretty beautiful example of the collector series patrol dewback. Same seller also has this AFA uncirculated eighty uh, emperor with the mail away box and the catalog. This is one I've got in my collection. Eighty ninety ninety are the sub scores blank box with catalog. So uncirculated eighty. I think that'll probably keep the price down to sub $200. Maybe I'm wrong, but right now it's a hundred bucks, four days, nine hours left, $17 shipping. Um, you know, the box obviously has some residue. So that, that's what kept the, the whole score down. Uh, the, the baggie and the, and the catalog got fine scores, but the box itself has some litho tears and things like that. So that kept the price down a little bit. Uh, but anyway, let, let's, let's guess it's probably going to go for under $200, uh, but worth taking a look at if you like these mail away items. Uh, next up, this same seller also has some AFA graded TVC that are fairly recent releases. And they're AFA 85, so that usually keeps the price down just a little bit. This is one in my collection, the Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper. He's got two of my favorites from the recent Mandalorian releases. I love this card back. It's an AFA 85 with the Classic View label and three-tier grading. So 85, 85, 90 are the subscores on that one. And it's at 26 bucks with three days and 12 hours left. It ends on Saturday night, $12 shipping. I think that's a pretty good buy at like 80 bucks or below. And uh, he also has this one. I'm excited about this one. I cannot wait to get this one back from Collector Archive Services. I sent in two of these, and this is the Mandalorian Super Commando Captain with the horns on his helmet. I love this card back. It's awesome. And this one also is an 85, 85, 85, 90 are the sub scores on that one. So that one's also at 26 bucks so far, three days, 12 hours left, $12 shipping. So I, I bet you can pick up both of those for relatively cheap if you can live with the 85 sub score, but it's three tier grading and it's the classic view label. Two things I always look for in modern grading with AFA and they, they really display nicely. I can't wait to get mine back. Uh, same thing on the vintage collection. This is the light blue saber VC44 Luke Degaba landing. It looks fairly mint, but there's only two photos. It's unpunched and the U.S. card back. And it's a buy it now for $125. Make an offer as well. $5 shipping. And it includes a star case. 13 watchers on this one. So I bet this one sells because this is kind of right in line with where they sell for at auction. And it, to me, this is the tougher to find light blue saber variation for VC44. Um, I would just maybe ask for some more photos because there's only two photos inside the star case. But uh, 125 make an offer. I mean, if you pick that up for 110 or so, that's a pretty good buy right there. Uh, next up is another graded TVC. Uh, this is a VC104 CAS 90 plus that is that auction and it's at a hundred bucks right now one bid free shipping 
And uh, the Lumet is always pretty expensive, even ungraded. We've been seeing prices on my TVC market updates where this can go for $140 ungraded. This one's graded 90, 90, 95 with CAS for an overall 90 plus unpunched US card. Really nice item. And I bet it sells for about the price of an ungraded item. I just That's just been my kind of experience with some of these TVC uh, that are graded by CAS for whatever reason they don't command a huge premium so you can probably pick this up for 140 to 150 is my guess uh, right now it's at 100 bucks free shipping same seller uh, I think that might have been the only one but if you if you get a chance check out this seller M collectibles underscore online he's got six or seven different TVC that are all CAS graded so check out his other items because he's got a bunch of really nice uh, high grade TVC that are at auction right now and all graded by CAS. Uh, next up, I've got um, Mace Windu, the, the one shot. This is the first appearance of Asajj Ventress in comics. It's a CGC 9.8 Dark Horse Comics from 2003. Pretty awesome image there of Samuel L. Jackson as Mace Windu. And again, you can see on the CGC label, first appearance of Asajj Ventress in comics. This is a very desirable comic. At one point, this was going for 650 bucks and now it's trading for closer to 300 bucks. It's in an auction, four days, 12 hours left. 123.50 is the current bid on this. I would try to stay $300 or less on this, but this is a really nice secondary key from the early 2000s from Dark Horse Comics. And uh, I do love Asajj Ventress, and uh, I, I think this is just one of those covers that will stand the test of time. I know that the comic book market is down, but if you're going to buy anything, buy some books that, that are going to stand the test of time. And it's a great display piece, and uh, having that first appearance of Asajj Ventress in comics is kind of the kicker. And I've bought from this seller before, Sparkle City Comics. Great seller, always packs really well. Always been very, very happy with my comic book purchases from them. Uh, next up, we've got a buy it now situation for a Palatoy Trilogo Wicket, and it does have some uh, issues with the uh, blister, uh, which is common. You know, we ha we have these problems all the time on these fragile blisters. So you can see there, it's got some dings and things like that. It looks like it's also yellowed, which is, seems to be a common thing with Wicket on the Trilogo card back. It always seems to yellow. Uh, the card's got some scuffing. It's it's punched. Just light edge wear, probably overall a 75 grade, maybe a 75 plus. Uh, this one's listed over in the UK for 140 pounds, which is $172. It just went on the market a couple of days ago. There's already 15 watchers on it. So I think that's probably going to sell. Uh, probably worth a look, especially if you're in the UK and you can live with some of the defects on the card. And then finally, we got this one. This is a UKG unused contents UKG graded uh, 85. I don't know how it got the 85 because the box does have some pretty noticeable wear right here, uh, as you can see. So it's got a crease right there, some creases at the bottom. And so I don't know if they just graded the contents as an 85 because this is not an 85. I mean, the box clearly is not an 85. So uh, I, I, that's the only explanation I can come up with is that, uh, I'm sorry, it's not an 85. I'm an idiot. I really am. I'm an idiot. 65. 65 is the great. Open, unused contents, tie interceptor. Now, the tie interceptor is always pretty expensive. I've seen AFA qualified 80s that go for $900 to 1000 bucks. So this one's about half that price, and it's a 65, not an 85. I haven't had my coffee this morning, okay? So bear with me here. But it's a 65 grade UKG unused contents for 450 which is 554 pounds, or excuse me, 554 US dollars. There's 25 watchers on it already, so I expect it to sell. Uh, but it is $49 shipping from uh, from the UK. So just keep that in mind if you're in the US watching this. But if you're in the UK and you can live with this, the lower grade, uh, that's a beautiful example. And I think that price is probably right in line, to be honest with you. I mean, I've seen them sell for this ungraded. So uh, to get a, a UKG 65 grade unused contents tie interceptor. This is just one of those tough ones to find. Uh, the tie interceptor was not produced in big numbers relative to some of the other items like the Battle Damage tie or the Collector Series Darth Vader's uh, tie advance or the Collector Series Dewback. Those are all really common, but the tie interceptor, for whatever reason, just was not produced in big numbers. So 554 US dollars, I think, is probably about the right price for that one. 
but we'll see if it sells or not. It's got 25 watchers. That's all I really had for this video. I hope you found something that you like in this video. And as always, thanks again to all my Patreon supporters, and have a great day.